So last time guys, I did share to you about the first part of the meta airdrop by meta time. But if you haven't watched it yet, so I highly recommend you to do so before we proceed to the second part. And the video link is just right here on my video description. But right now we are going to continue our tutorial series for the meta airdrop by meta time so this is part two in which we are going to dig deeper on that because of the tjuice testnet task that we are about to do in this um, airdrop opportunity so let's continue learning you better watch out if you ignite a road ahead of full proxy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day with the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caused real big piss off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this war. Never getting bored, loves the blood and gore. Always wanting more freedom from the source. So, GM everyone, this is Nomad Fury. So, before we begin, kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description as this is only intended for educational and informative purposes just to be fair and transparent to all and this is just based on my personal opinions so in other words play safe and participate at your own risk and of course this video clip that I am going to show you is during the time before I got my haircut <laughs> Just for you to be aware. Anyways, let's continue doing this uh, airdrop task right here on the meta airdrop by meta time. Okay, guys, so we are back here once again on the meta airdrop by meta time. So um, let's continue on this task. So I've already connected my Zili successfully. And of course, the GitHub, the Reddit, and the others. Let's continue with the task, shall we? So on Zili, so I want to show you some of the tasks here. So let's say I want to complete the task. So this is the one, guys. Okay, so I've just completed some of the task here. You need to complete your profile details. Also follow them on Twitter, Discord, and other channels. And of course, um, here are the other tasks that um, you can complete. Okay. So um, if you want an invite link, so it's just right here on the video description. So let's focus on the main task, guys. So I'm going to click on this. And of course, as you can see right here, um, it's very easy, you know, um, for the daily task and the social media task. And of course, for the uh, special task. Okay, you can see that I've completed some of them and others, you know, um, they will be approved manually. But right now, what we are going to focus, guys, are the testnet tasks. Okay, now let's begin one by one. So first things first. So I will connect my crypto wallet, then using the MetaChain testnet network, transfer test MTCs to your wallet. So I open the task and it will open a new tab like this. I connect my wallet, guys. So you see right here the details of the MetaChain testnet. So I just have to switch to network. So I now decide to switch to network. So my wallet is now connected to MetaChain testnet. Okay, so it's time for me to request tested MTC. So what I'm going to do is that I will click send me 20 tested MTC. The transaction is pending. So it says the transaction is completed. Now let's head back to the task. So I've already uh, pasted my wallet address here. And then we have to click complete task. So I will be earning 50 meta points. So I click complete task. And of course, um, it says task completed. Now let's head over to this task, guys. Okay. So it says transfer the testnet MTCs you receive by the testnet meta chain network to another cryptocurrency wallet. Let's say I am opening my MetaMask. So I am going to send some uh, MTC to another wallet. Okay, so I've included a dummy wallet address and then uh, let's say only one MTC. So I click next. Of course, I'll acknowledge this and then just click confirm. Okay, so um, it says... The transaction is confirmed. All right. Now, let's go back here, guys. Once again, I'm going to paste my wallet address. And then I click complete task. So it says task completed. Now let's move to the next one. So it says create your own token on the MetaChain test network. So it says to complete the task, token you generated must have an ownable feature. Let's open the task, guys. 
So it leads us to this explorer. But of course, the task is to create our own token and is ownable. We're going to be more technical on this one. Now let's head over to this website. It's what we call the Open Zeppelin. So in their doc section, um, there's what we call the Contracts Wizard. For us to create our own token in the MetaTime blockchain, so um, these are the settings. Now, uh, for example, I want to name it as Nomad Fury. Um, the symbol will be like uh, Nomad. And let's say I'm going to uh, supply it uh, 100 million. And of course, for the features, it should be mintable, burnable, and possible. And make sure that the access control is uh, ownable, guys. Okay. Now, of course, um, this is the code, guys. All right. The next thing that we need to do is to open in Remix. So I'm going to open that. So it will open a, a new tab like this. So I just have to accept. So if this is your first time, so um, here are the notifications, okay? So pay attention to my mouse pointer, guys. So I head over to this. And of course, I double check the details here in the code. So um, you could see um, the name of the token. And of course, the ticker symbol. And of course, the number of uh, premium tokens, which is 100 million. So pay attention to my mouse pointer. So I click this one to compile contract. So I'm going to do it. And there it is, guys. Now that we have compiled the contract, so once again, pay attention to my mouse pointer and head over to deploy and run transactions. So I'm going to click on this one. So right here in the environment section, guys, make sure that you select the injected provider MetaMask. And of course, um, leave it as it is for the rest. And once you do that, just click deploy. And then um, the MetaMask will pop up. And then uh, we just have to pay in Testnet MTC. So I click confirm. And let's see what happens. So the transaction is confirmed, guys. Now um, you see the history right here. And as for the deployed contract, so all I have to do is to copy this. And then we go to Meta Explorer. So for the Meta Explorer, so... I will be pasting my contract address from the token that I have just created in the MetaTime blockchain. So this is the one and I just press enter. So um, you could see the details of the token that I have created. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to paste the wallet address once again and then I complete task and let's see what happens. So it says the task is completed. So the next one is to send tokens that I've created to another crypto wallet. So um, it's quite the same thing as this task. But this time I'm going to send my Nomad tokens instead of MTC. So I'm going to do it. So I will be opening my MetaMask once again. And then what I'm going to do is that I will be importing my tokens. So here's the contract address and my uh, ticker symbol. There it is. So I add the custom token. 100 million nomads so i import now that i have 100 million nomads so the task is to send tokens that i have created to another crypto wallet so i am going to send some of my nomad tokens so i will send it to a dummy address let's say i'm going to send 1 million nomad and of course here is the estimated gas fee so i click next so uh, verify everything before we proceed so i confirm and we just have to wait guys until it was successfully transferred to another wallet address okay so that transaction is confirmed now it's time for us to um complete the task so i'll just paste my wallet address and then i complete task so it says the task was completed now, the next thing is to mint NFT, create an NFT on the Testnet MetaChain network. So, here we go. In order for us to achieve, so we open the task. Okay, so we're back here, guys. Um, This time, um, let's go to ERC721 because we're going to create an NFT. For example, I'm going to use a different name like um, NFury. The ticker symbol will be like NF and we should check this as mintable and the rest of course leave as it is okay now it's time for us to open the remix so here we go so the same thing process um let's just compile the contract 
when it comes to deploy so we should have some kind of a little twist so um, if we go right here to deploy and run transactions um, i will select uh, metamask once again as injected provider once everything was verified here um all we have to do is to click deploy and then i mean metamask will pop up like this so we just have to pay so we click confirm and we just have to wait guys now here's a twist pay attention to my mouse pointer we hover right here to the deployed contracts and then click this um arrow and then of course um we scroll down and we focus on the safe mint so um let's go to the drop down box here so what i'm going to do is that i will be pasting my own wallet address and the number of nfts that i wanted to mint so the number doesn't matter anyway let's say i'm going to do like this so i just click transact guys so my metamask pop up like this and then um let's just uh confirm the transaction and we just have to wait so the transaction is confirmed so I'm going to copy this uh, contract address and let's head over back to the Meta Explorer. So I'm going to paste the contract address in which I have created the ERC721 token. Okay, so here's the contract address. So I just have to press enter. So I will be focusing on the safe mint method. So I just click this transaction hash. So what I'm going to do guys is that I'll be adding the NFT right here on my MetaMask. So I am going to show you how to do it. You see, this is the contract address, so I'm going to copy this first. And of course, here is my MetaMask. So what I'm going to do is that I hover to NFTs, and then I just select Import NFTs. So I'm going to paste the contract address that I have deployed. About the token ID, guys, so let's go back to Meta Explorer. So this is the one, the ERC721 token ID. So I just have to copy all of this. And then head over back to the MetaMask and then paste the token ID. Once you do that, just click add. You see, it appears like this, the unnamed collection. Now, the task is to send the NFT to the other address. So pay attention, guys. So I am going to click this one. And then I just have to click send. So I will be pasting my dummy wallet address. Okay, so I just have to pay the gas fee in MTC. I click next. Okay, so I'm um, acknowledging the details. So I click confirm. And let's see what happens. Okay, so the transaction is confirmed. I have sent it to my dummy address. Let's head back to the meta airdrop task. Okay, so I have pasted my wallet address. And then we click complete task. So it says task completed. Okay, so um, let's say I want to go to the deck swap here, guys. So I'm going to complete this uh, task. So I'm going to open it. So um, this is the one, guys. So first, I need to um, connect. And then I choose MetaMask. And here we are right now, guys. Um, you can see that I could swap MTC to any token available. So for instance, I am going to swap 5. So let's say I want to click swap. Once I've confirmed everything, so I confirm swap. And then uh, my MetaMask will pop up like this. So I need to pay the gas. Okay, so it says transaction is submitted. So I click close. And then we just have to wait until everything is confirmed. Okay, so it says a transaction is confirmed. Now I have the updated balance. Now let's head back to the task. Okay, so I've already uh, pasted my wallet address and then I just click complete task. Okay, so it says task completed. Now, um, it's time for us to add some liquidity. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to open the task once again and it will head over back to the DEX. But this time, we're going to add some liquidity. So let's hover our mouse here. Okay, so um, we need to add some liquidity. So what I'm going to do is that I'll be uh, selecting um, USDT. So let's say I'm going to do the max. So this is the equivalent, guys. So I'm going to approve some USDT first. And then my MetaMask will pop up like this. So I just uh, click max. And then I click next. Okay, and then we pay the gas. And of course, we just have to wait. Okay, so it says uh, confirm transaction. Now, let's click supply. So I'm going to do that. 
Okay, so I'm um, here are the details. So I confirm supply. So my MetaMask pops up again. And then I just have to pay the gas fee again in the testnet MTC. So it says transaction submitted, but we have to wait until it's fully confirmed on the blockchain. Okay, so it says add 4.98 MTC and 0.349 USDT. Okay. Okay, so now that we are done, so let's head over back to the task. So I will paste my wallet address once again, and then I just click complete task. And there we go, task is completed. So you can see all of the tasks that I have in the testnet are finally completed. And of course, uh, stay tuned for the upcoming system task here. But of course, um, don't forget to finish all of the remaining tasks here in the Meta Airdrop as well as in the Zili so that you have higher chances to go up to the leaderboard. All right. So um, we have a lot of work to do here, guys. Okay. So guys, um, if you are interested to participate in the Meta Airdrop, so I would really appreciate if you're going to use either my referral code or the referral link that I provided right here on the video description. And of course, I've also provided the link of the first part of the Meta Airdrop tutorial before you proceed to this uh, second part. And of course, guys, um, take note of this one uh, coming from the Meta Time admin. So, and I quote, MTC that is earned from airdrop earnings has two vesting periods. So the first period is earnings from the months of March, April, and May will be claimed and marketable on January 1 of 2024. So 100% of it will be unlocked. But for the second period, from June 2023 until January 1st of 2025, have linear vesting. So the linear vesting is going to start on January 1st of next year. And every day after that, earnings from June and later months will be claimed in marketable at 0.4%. So this is what we are expecting, you know, when it comes to their um, airdrop distribution to all of the users here like us who are doing some tasks right here in the Meta Airdrop. So hopefully that this is the second part of the Meta Airdrop tutorial that I have for you is going to help you a lot. I know that it's a lot of work, especially, you know, when it comes to creating your own token, deploying it. It's worth a try. Not only that we are doing this uh, task, but also we are learning on how we deploy these smart contracts, tokens, NFTs, and so much more. So that's just a bright side, you know, um, if you are a first timer. So let's look forward to it. So at least I have shared to you regarding the part two of our Meta Airdrop by Meta Time, in which I have completed all of the testnet tasks, especially showing to you the other tasks right here in the dashboard and in ZD respectively. So if you want more information, I have provided all the source links right here on my video description. So I would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys, whether if it's positive or negative, or if you have some concerns or questions that were not answered or clarified in this video, I would try my best to answer them for you. But I would highly recommend that you should head over to their official social media channels such as Twitter, Telegram, Discord, etc. And engage with the real admins and mods out there to answer your queries. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding airdrops, testnets, DeFi, NFTs, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.